Wait, she did? Was she with yes. anyone? Only with, um, Dredge. That doesn't but make But you it. didn't hear that because if it gets out that I told you that they're hanging out again, it could get them hurt and Dredge will come and kill me if he finds out. So just keep that to yourself. Sure. Why would she reveal herself to her? I can think of two reasons. It was night time and she was outside of the walls, making her a prime target. Or it's because I've been getting close to her. Neither of those are good. Are you going to tell her or? Yes. Are you sure that's a good idea? No, but I don't have a choice. I won't pry into your personal life. Um, I wanted to talk to you about this meeting that's happening tonight between Kovaz and the Emissary. What? Tazim's put me... to be... to hear what's going on, basically, to spy on them. And I know he said similarly to you. He wants us to work together to figure out the mm -hmm. best way to do this. How are you planning on approaching this? <sighs> I don't want to cross wires. I have no idea, but the very the most important thing is to um, scout out the area. Make sure that we know good vantage points beforehand. I could go there under the guise of trying to um, drum up some business. I'll I'll put it out here. I'm hesitant about your ability to sneak compared to Bine. And I agree. I'm not exactly um stealthy. Would you be okay with Sarah and I taking over this eavesdropping thing? I don't want to put you at risk. I don't want to put us at risk by them finding you. Sure. I wasn't really planning on being there anyway when that went down. I was more um, possibly going to act as a sort of intel gatherer on where you can be. But if you have some other way, if you, if you already know the vineyards, then you don't need me at this stage. That could work. A uh, pre-scout in the, uh, the area would be very handy for myself and Sarah. Uh, yeah, mm. if that's something you wanted to help with, that would be very handy. Would I'm going to try. Sure. Would so you like me to tag something. along, or better to stay out of it all together? Mm. Best you're not seen with me. Okay. Because if you're seen again later that evening... I'll be killed, 100%. They're Ed Edgemith Lustian. They hate Drow anyway, but that's besides the point. Better to not right. have you they involved with it. They don't need to be seeing it. me working together with you, too. Sure. Yes. They yeah. hate Drow. Right. I'll see if I can get there in time um, if not uh, Sarah's resourceful I'm sure yeah you we'll can figure something out between the two of you handle it <sighs> just keep me informed whatever they talk about yeah I'll definitely bring it out with you and on and everyone once we can mm. right good anything yeah, else her, right I trust her a lot. Okay. Well, if you need anything, if you need any help. I've not seen you smile that much in a while when we're in the bathhouse all together. I don't know. <laughs> when you look at her, it's... Well, it's just good to see, I guess. Thanks. I appreciate it. 
I won't keep you from her. It's hard anymore. sometimes to. It's always hard, Mirren. Right. Sometimes we have to go places that they can't follow. <laughs> oh, fuck you. You're a fucking uh. baby. You know what I mean. <laughs> it's always difficult. Just hold on to it, I suppose. We don't get many chances nowadays. Right. Kyla. Hmm? Sorry. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Well, that's awkward. There we <laughs> so are. I, Sorry. You know, it's, <laughs> what you know, it's sort of past. I was just going to, um, well, I was just going to give you a, a just rare physical affection. <laughs> it's, thank you. We've not always seen eye to eye, but I've always appreciated you. I always talk about Arn always giving me the chance to be a better person, but you're the one that gave me the job. So. You're a part of that too. And I appreciate it. Alright, get out of here, won't you? I hear Miss Torty. Makes things a lot easier. Oh, yes. Wait, tell me you have a potion. Well, once we deal with the brothers, hopefully we can get one made for you. Hello, the brothers? Brother. Like cousins. Brothers. Go, cousins. Sorry. Oh. Uh, cousin. Something that's powerful to do it. Uh, not good at sneaking up on things. Always find yourself up with rather than downwind. <laughs> that's. Yes, I've gone to start sneaking than I used to, but that was. As a surgeon, as a surgeon, I have to keep up with my stock. Special price for you. Special price. You come back. No, you come here. Come here. You. Come here. Like, Good I luck. For God's sakes, okay. Okay, okay, now we talk, now we talk. Okay, yes, you like my Jesus. Yeah, look, look. Hmm. I know you just the fuck do you say to my girlfriend? I know go well with zombies. Nice cheese, brother. The salam. He the firmly grasp. Oh, it's a... Yes, that's what they, at least what they said. Mm. I just made this special one with, uh, yeah, firmly yeah, yeah, grasp with special the lily. See, it's hard. I was discussing how it's been a while since I've had a two-hander myself. <laughs> Marcus, some say they'll get <laughs> you'll be able to tell. This cheese, right? No problem. Oh, you only have one. Very good. Oh. I can put before I forget. Um, yeah, yeah, dear. It's not a salam. It's uh, from uh, Ladia. Oh, thank you. It's what you ordered. Mm-hmm, uncle. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Are you sure, Sarah? I used to do this shit for free back in the day. Uh, I think I saw her walking by. Uh... I didn't always do it no worries. Uh, she's been going back on... Oh, there she is. There she is. I do know. Yeah. Got a moment? Never toss her sword into something unless you're expecting yes. something out of it. Yeah, Come on. Speak. Woof. Finish your salon, Bob. Nom 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 nom. I said before you speak. Oh, I guess all I, I heard was off. speak. Good boy. <laughs> Are you ready for your dessert? Where did 
did you find this? The tavern, silly. They're like five copper. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you so much. You deserved it after worrying today. Thank you for that. Now, I'm going to take a seat. Yeah. And you can talk to me about what you need. Don't inhale it. So there's plenty where that came from. Um, I'm gonna need your help tonight, if you're free. I should be. There's a meeting between Kovaz and the elven dignitary that's here. They're gonna be walking through the vineyard tonight or this evening at some point. I have convinced Vezarin to allow us to handle it rather than him. You are a fucking miracle worker. We need to I'm so proud of you. Listen in on it, not get caught, because we will be executed immediately on the spot if we are caught. I know. Just prefacing it. Um But we work so well together. Exactly. Hopefully you have no doubts. Well, I could probably handle quite a bit of it myself, but that would put me at risk. So having two people yes. we could cover more bases. I'm just I was just worried that if I went there I would miss things every now and then. So if we figure out where we can be and we split up, not get caught here as much as we can without risking ourselves, then compare notes at the end, we should hear most of what we need to Have say. Have you been to the vineyard? I had a quick trip through it. I haven't really spent Good. much time in there. Well, there's the vineyard section. There is a giant courtyard. Bunch of buildings. Don't know if we can get vertical. Vezrin, there's a lot of foliage to hide us. Vezrin's offered to, if he has time today, go there on a merchant fuckery thing and he's going to scope out any potential hiding spots for us pre-game before we even show up there. Look at us. Mm -hmm. All of these draw working together. Yeah. I love to see it. I look forward to it. Yeah. Kettle. That's all yours. Good. Yeah, so that's the plan for tonight. Just if you're on board. Sounds good if I don't fucking die on this merc job. Are you taking <laughs> a caravan? Die on every one of them. I don't know. It is a bit far away. But I have um, guaranteed the location is where I thought. That building past the embassy over the giant porcelain looking bridge. Mm. Okay, well, if it is a caravan, I should warn you, this um, robber baron uh, in charge of a lot of these mercenary groups that are around. They've been attacking caravans as they enter and exit through this province. So, be on your guard. Robber baron. Mm -hmm. He's in charge of the uh, iron mine. Him and a few people broken off from the Sordillo company. They've been attacking caravans around the province, so keep your eyes open. I assume they're pretty well armed. I wonder if the brothers know anything about this robber baron. I dare say what they would be aware. <laughs> Maybe. I'll leave you to finish your snack, though. Thank if I you. hear anything, I'll let you know, and I'll see you tonight. See you tonight. Hopefully my head doesn't get chopped off or something horrible. Yum, 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 yum. Alright. I got a goddamn plan. Yeah. 
Oh wait, there he is. Oh, Mr. Shrink. Yeah, Dan. I will. You want to try some clam soup? Soup? I'm actually Climb full. Something. I've eaten quite a bit. Excuse me one moment. Uh, I'll keep that in the mind for the future. Yeah. As he pats I'll tell you more his, details. Uh, How are you two? As he pats his belt, you notice that the only thing that really seems to be... Ah, uh, pretty good. Actually I'm actually good. quite full after a... that. <laughs> I got a... this. The only thing that's left is the, uh, the bones, oh. and then I'll be all cleared out. I was actually going to talk to L, but, um... What is that? Oh, I got this from the clam. It's a pristine large pearl. Oh. What are you gonna do with that? Oh, isn't that lovely? Uh, I don't know. I was thinking I might sell it to Raylan or give it to Raylan for something else. I don't know. Mm. Something of sorts. Some of those can and go for sure quite a bit of money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had someone told me, uh, in my mind, that it could potentially be worth up to a silver, so... Ooh. I think it was Aldo, or maybe it was someone else. It is a, as I said, pristine. Very so, good. Well, that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> aren't, you aren't you a little lucky here? Yeah, well, as I said, it was a very large clam. I thought I made out bad at first because I didn't get a lot of clams, but I just got the really big one. And then uh, when I brought it in, uh, Aldo helped me crack it open, and uh, this really pretty pearl was in there. Hmm. I gave Aldo some of the meat. I ate some of the meat myself with that stew, and now uh, now we're here. I was going to see if you, if you two, either of you two wanted to share, but uh, it seems you've both eaten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So, well, how are you guys doing? I'm okay. I've been busy. Well Lots enough. of meetings and etc. etc. Yeah. Uh, I helped Miss Torty with some sewing to sewing leather stuff. Uh, I got that mm -hmm. clam. I was gonna wait around the forge and maybe see if you guys need help there, but you, no one was there. Um, wait, what's his name? Um, what's the cat's name again? Howard? Uh, Little T? I don't know, there was a few. <laughs> yes, there's uh, a few the names cat, going around uh, then. I was, uh, the cat caught in a fight with another cat, and... Um, Is it okay? Oh yeah, it's fine. It didn't, it wasn't physical, it was mostly screaming at each other. Emotional, hmm. It looked okay then. Yeah. I get that. The little, you forgot that, the little, the little white one and the orange one. <sighs> yeah, they don't seem to be the best friends. Hmm. Yeah. Well, the, I think that one of them... Is take it take is a bit of a liking at Aldo at least. How do you well, yeah, do? When they saw each other. Very well, okay. <laughs> yeah, not too bad. And you? Hmm. Wonderful as always. The sun is shining. <laughs> the birds are chirping. I know. The smell horrible, of open air. Uh, some could say, absolutely. Um, how's the uh, iron holding you? Hopefully well? Doing well, yes. We have a nice surplus now. When we get orders, we can roll through them. Actually start making some money. Perfect. Uh, um, could you help me with something, possibly? Mm -hmm. uh, I need a box just carried from up here all the way to the guild, is all. Yeah? Alright. <clears throat> if you have empty hands, of course. Yeah, I'm just not very strong, that's all. It's fine, it should it's be fine. light stuff, that. trinkets, baubles, stuff like that. They just have to be checked in at the um, Merchant's Guild, is all. Uh, it, the Merchant's Guild is quite empty right now, though. They're, they're hosting a meeting in the upstairs. Um, about? We finished with that already, who knows, though? Uh? Anything um, I need to be worried about? Nothing that you should be worried about, Julie. Really. Mm -hmm. 
I have my papers here in my pocket, so I'm going to run, uh, run into the portmaster real quick, and then I'll lead you to where the box should be. I just don't want to pick it up, because uh, my age is slowly but surely starting to creep up on me, trying to preserve what I have left. <laughs> just uh, stay right here for a moment while I run inside. <laughs> Can I bother you for a moment, Sherry? I need to ask you something. <sighs> Gonna quickly carry a box. Is it quick? Fairly. Do you know a mercenary that has a large sword on his back? Uh, I know a couple. Yes, we've. There's a few. I mean, do you really know him? Hmm. Where's Black? Was a mask someone over. that's aware. Someone that knows my recently departed. Oh. Hmm. Hello. I can fill you in later. Someone who knows something that they really shouldn't. I. I... Yeah. Thank you. Box where? Oh yes. Follow me. I wanted you all to finish your, uh, conversation. Were we started anything out of them? <sighs> suppose I could help. This is technically my discard job description for working here. Mm. Always hated the color red. Maybe I shouldn't say that so loud. <laughs> A lot of paint. In here. Mm, a lot of money. The uh, human elf dwarf. Ah, this one right there. That's my thing. If you grab this one, you might have a couple of uh, shit on top of it. You just scoop it off, that kind of deal. And then uh, follow <gasps> me back to the merchant's guild. And have, okay, uh, Severick. Much appreciated. Hey. You okay? <laughs> Come on. Don't drop it. I need that shit. <sighs> Watch the dip. You always walk side by side, truly, Ooh. if you wanted to. If you're not having to like the poor lad over. It's funnier this way. Might as well get the hard part done with to walk up the stairs now. Deliveries never stop, Mr. Marcus. When you're a salesman <laughs> like myself. Hmm. How do you fare? Very good. Protect what oh, you I'm very well. Protect these ships. <laughs> yes. they must you all, uh, don't wait for me. Just keep it, keep it rolling. Oh, how about you? We can walk and talk. Yeah, walk and talking is my favorite. I'm Harry? quite bad at it though. I usually trip. It's hard for me to. Let me you sap know if I'm about to walk into anything because I can't a, see. The box is obscuring like half of my vision. Mm. To say the least, it's uh, going quite well. Just follow the Shriek's leader, leader, right? Uh, He'll guide you. That one over there, and the blacksmith. All right. And the apprentice blacksmith, of course. They, uh, uh, they uh, signed a contract with me, so steady income. Oh. Hmm. So what's all this oh. in the box? Fortune, fortune, is Trinkets, dodging This way, lad. <laughs> is it that way? Oh. That was We're that. just going to bring it straight front, and then uh, that's all you need. Okay. Actually, you could probably leave it out here if you'd like. Okay. Mm. We don't. They don't typically like giant boxes being brought in and out. Um, put it somewhere. We're putting it right. Perfect. <sighs> Thank you very much. Of course. Uh, I guess a little bit of a compensation's provided. Here you are, I'm a five copper. Yeah, it isn't a hard you. thing, but, uh, of course. <laughs> and, uh, if you're still looking for. Profit. I can also provide that as well. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna go check on the sun real quick, love, right? I'll be back. Right. Jones. Stay safe. Could, uh... I'll take a walk around town. <laughs> oh, yes. Right. Apologies, I got distracted with business. <laughs> 
much like that. If you ever do find do you yourself a uh, pockets feeling a little bit heavy, full of uh, coin, you know you can, where you can always find me. Unfortunately, right not. To I'm lady. lightweight. <laughs> mm, maybe perhaps in the future I could use your muscles. I'll, I'll look you out, Soon Marcus. Enough. Thank you very much, Freak. Hey, what, what kind of jobs? Mm, what kind of jobs are you looking yeah, for, quick my question. tiny Hey, gone. Did he go that way or that way? Oh, I usually do. I've been helping around the floor. Didn't see. No idea. Hello. Something happened? Mm. There's so much blood. Yeah, that's, uh, a, lot that's of blood. a daily occurrence. Uh. Oh. Aegon. Man's looking for you. Yes. Imperial. Who? Uh. Yeah. Hey, Harry. Good morning. Oh, good morning. How do you feel? How, how have you been? Oh. I've been good. That's good. Not great, glorious, amazing, wonderful. None of these things. Well, it'll be great, glorious, and wonderful when I have money in my pocket. When you have money. Well, money isn't everything. What about good friends? Well, my good friends are a drunken, and one has a temper problem. Okay, but they're friends, nonetheless. Maybe they can help you out. Of course, we help each other out out there. I'm able to... There you go. Not really tolerate, but... Understand, really. You're here to understand? What? What's it understand? Well, why the a drunk and <laughs> anger? I don't know. You have any friends who are drunk or abuse substances? I don't, I don't have know. any friends. What? Surely, surely you have some. No. What? Oh, there was no way they died. Oh, I have plenty of friends. Of course you do. Yeah. I just can't see them. They're up here. <laughs> Would you like to be his friend? I see. I feel like that we already are. Oh, then yes, oh. I have friends. All right, you already... <laughs> you know each other. You're low on cash, you said. Well, yes, but that's normal as a farmer. Well, what do you sell? Can you sell anything right now? Uh, I sell you like grain. Every day. Uh, grain, cotton, uh, flour, fibers, flaws, bone. Ooh. We well, take grain and then you mill it into flour. Yeah. Can I just buy sacks of flour? Yeah. Well, I mean, in technicalities, there is no that. There's just raw. Oh, he doesn't refine it. So I could have... So you just get grain. How much would raw grain be? Uh, as of right hmm. now, uh, a copper piece. Oof. But I have none for today. Right. Okay. Well, good to know the prices, I guess. Hmm. Sure. Oh, dredge is moving quickly. I don't like that. Fibers, uh, oh god, yeah. Soma. I haven't seen him. He's around. 
What's the trouble? It wasn't that way, and I just came from that way, so... Who's, who's in there? Who's that way? You might be any He's about to be. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Is this something that he's done? Found out he's been ripping me off! Uh oh. Well. Out of everyone for Dredge to break, oh. the surgeon is probably the best. He could fix himself up. We should, um... Sure, yeah, help with that, huh? So nothing. What goes are too we bad. going to do against Dredge? I don't know. What is Soma going to do against him? Not we fucking much. Some necklaces in front of him, he might get distracted. Right. You want to jingle necklaces in effort. front of Dredge? Jingling, jingling. Oh shit! Maybe that'll that distract like him. Oh. Jingling, jingling, jingling. What the fuck is that? Jingling, jingling, jingling. What is that? Jingling, jingling, jingling. Why are you? How is? Jingling, are you serious? How? What? That's amazing. That's. It works on everyone. Does this every time. How does... No, it works on. That is so kooky. That is so so kooky. Amazing. I know it's quite kooky. It's very kooky, very quirky. If you will. Huh? What is? Not that I put it away. Are you here? What? Yeah. Why? Do you remember who you are? Yeah. Wake up. Wake up. I, I've been here. Somehow. Wake up. Oh no. Alright, you're fine now. I so was testing you. Oh no. Alright, brought back to your senses. Holy fuck, you appeared out of nowhere. No, I didn't appear out of nowhere. I walked right here. Or over there. For me, you appeared out of nowhere. How's the business? Good, hopefully? What have I done wrong? It's going. I understand that feeling. The dwarf says you charge 20 for bandages, not 50. What? What the? Very... Uh, Man, prepare to call for the gun. I charge only for, ba for bandages to sell them. The 50 copper is only for the gladiatorial matches for, for that champion's discount. We can have a civil discussion. How is it a discount if it's more? Don't. That's it's what a I'm champion's wondering. discount. Originally, it was going to be a silver. Yes, but that is for the other gladiators, with their pa patrons and such. This is mu much, much less from it. Bandages, when they're, sell when they're sold, is 20. I am sorry if that is confusing. Who needs a surgeon to put on a piece of cloth? Well, they do need to know how to put it on correctly. If, if it doesn't go on right, you bleed out. That's true, that's true. Dredge, why don't you put the man down? He's he knows where to put it. He's our best surgeon in town. Please don't hurt him. I wouldn't say he's bad. Less money next time. That's a pretty good job. <sighs> or my blood's not going to be the only one spilling in that clinic. Got it? Understood. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> What's he mad That about? went well. That went better than I thought it was going to. He was ripped off. Well, pays as much as everybody else, isn't it? Slave and more than likely it's no Actually, no. <clears throat> There's a champion's discount that I That's have for true. him. As for the rest of the given, uh, within the arena matches, there's a champion's discount. The only thing he has to pay is 50 copper for the stuff for it. Whenever it's these gladiatorial matches, the gladiators are paid one silver, you know, including any really including care. anything from the given. <laughs> I, I, you can, in, you, I, I, I don't care. We just didn't want to see you hurt. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I know. I know.
You know, this was the first song I played in FT. Yeah, we're just sitting in the field. As you sit in the field looking out over the flowers and the grass, you look sidelong at Dredge as he walks behind you and along. You make sure to keep an eye on him. Your mind drifts back to moments ago, but even before that, back at Adwick when you had to help subdue Yursa in her transformed mode. You remember how hard it was, how many people it took. You're not sure whether or not Dredge can do something like that, but... It weighs on your mind. Most of the time, your targets are dealt with with just one dagger in the right place, but something like that, it's a different story altogether. It really is like living next to bears. Wild animals. He doesn't even know what a Bjorning is. Hmm. You okay, big man? Found out the Churjan was ripping me off. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> and he was the one who was charging less than the others. So he's ripping you off still, but just less than the others? Pretty much. The Imperials over there charge a silver for bandaging well how much is a bandage worth 20 pity for it to be put on mm. so he charges 30 for his expertise I suppose expert what? Uh, ability to do it He's a he's a bandager, like you're Anyone a fighter. Can slap a bandage on. Have you tried to slap a bandage on? Yeah. How did that go? Mm. It worked. Kind of. I guess it's kind of like... I'm still here, aren't I? Would you want someone who doesn't know how to make a weapon, make a weapon for you, right? Rather than me, or Tazim. There's a skill to it, no? Mm. 
you're a good fighter, he's a good healer. If it was 50 for the needle, I would be less angry. But it's 50 for a piece of cloth that the tailor gives away for free. <sighs> I don't know about prices, but I'd feel a lot more comfortable knowing that Soma was looking after me rather than, you know, doing it myself if I got wounded. Uh, could you? Uh, I was hoping that you could, uh, answer a question for me, if possible. Does the brand, uh, TS sound familiar? A what? Uh, a slave brand, uh, TS. Frenchie, does that sound familiar? Rolling. There's uh, only known one master. Yeah, with a 16, uh, I mean, you you know that whatever that is, it's likely the initials of whoever owned the slave, especially if it's not been branded over with an X or something like that. Um, for your time fighting in the arena, knowing a lot of the slaves, and living within the slave camp, it's not a name, or not rather, not an initial that appears on any of the gladiators, nor is it present within the camp known by that owner that you know, T.S. Which likely means, to your mind, whoever owns them probably keeps them wherever they live, and not in the camp. No one in the camp has that initial on them. Okay. Um, th thank you for the information, uh, champion. Mm. Hmm. Wanna know the part that makes me the most angry though? About the Churgeon's bullshit? Sure. The fact he said he was giving me a champion's discount, and it's still so fucking ripped off. I mean, apparently the other people have to pay a silver every time they want to get stitched up. That's stitching, not bandaging. I, I, stitching, I mean, you know, looked after. Sorry, slang term. But they're too different, whatever. I know, I'm sorry, that was my, my mistake. They're all ripping us off. Everyone's trying to make money, I suppose. It's Gradia, I mean... You know. You know how money is here. I also know sometimes you have to take what you need. Hmm? Sometimes people are a little more willing to give when they know there's someone stronger than them. Hmm. Wasn't actually angry enough to hurt him. Just want to get a message across, I suppose. But you didn't hear me say that. Exactly. Of course. Are you from Gradia? Corcatus. Mm. Huh. Me too. Oh. That's where I was born. Long I time ago. Ever seeing you there. Uh, I left when I was young. 
How old are you? Sean. Uh... I think 25. Right. Yeah, I was long gone by then. Hmm. Hmm. Well... I don't think Corakadis has changed since now and then. Still full to the brim with people trying to make a name for themselves, or as much money as possible? And people who will put a knife in your back the moment you step into a dark alley, yeah. Yeah, I know about that. How'd you get into uh, arena fighting? My family was put up to the sword and I had to leave with the guy who sold me here. So they weren't killed. Huh. That was the short of it. Sorry to hear that. Ugh. Nothing you can do about it. Hmm. Still offer my condolences, though. I... Uh... I have a plan. Mm hmm. The pro of a champion, what else would it be? Oh, well, I'd say you're definitely on your way. Mm. My name's starting to get out there. I'm getting closer to it. Still need to go through my first uh, fight in another arena. Hmm. But once I'm free, I'm going to find the man who put my family to this up. Uh, put my family at sword point and I'm gonna kill him. No one gets away with that. No. I have no doubt that you will. Uh, Best of luck, dear Drudge. What about me? What do you mean? <clears throat> yeah, why the fuck did you leave Corocatus? Huh. And walk to come to this backwater? Well, when you are raised in the shit, everything seems better, I suppose. I was a street urchin. Long time ago. Figured I could, uh... Same. Get out there and, you know, greener pastures kind of thing. And, well, I guess it worked out a little bit. <laughs> you were a street urchin. What was your uh, specialty? Uh, it's... It was a long time ago, Dredge. I... Very different now. I used to have to steal to survive. I got pretty good so at it. Did I. Hmm. I don't think Corakidus has changed them at all. <laughs> That's strangely comforting in a way, I suppose. Look, if however long ago was long for a uh, pointy elf like you, I'm pretty sure. If it's still the same for me as it was for you, it's pretty much the same. Not gonna change anytime soon, yeah. No. Well, to greener pastures then. Uh, not much green around there, well, in those pastures. <laughs> What's the deal with you and Torty?
don't tell this to anyone. Understood? Sure. We fucked up big time. Big enough that, uh... If I'm seen with them, the nobles in the keep that want me dead will have her killed. Hmm. So, as of now, there's nothing. Until Noza says it's safe. That's a shame, you two seem like really good friends. Hmm. They're the new gang. New gang? In Korakadis, me and the other urchins were in a gang. Just the five of us. Torty and Ermi were the start of a new gang here. I guess you would say. <laughs> Though that's pretty much sunk now. Hmm. Maybe where things clear up a little bit. You can have your gang again. If they clear up. Yeah. Excuse me. The book. So, Ma? Yeah. Got something to say, I'm... Jurgen? No, no, it's... I at least want to try and at least help with the conundrum that you had with what happened a few minutes ago. And I do apologize if you mix some of these things up with the kappa. Do you mind if I try my best to explain to you about the pricing that I have and a uh, little thing that I want to bring up that might actually help. If possible, if not, then... Make it quick. All right. Well, the price is what you heard from, from before. I know that it sounds, it may, it may have sounded like that it was overpricing. However, within the arena fights and such, especially with you and your strong stature, it is a very, very big discount of what, of what I have. It's basically for whatever treatment that I give you regardless of any like given expensive inventory that I have for, for example someone of which uh, that they actually showed me here as he takes out basically the coin that he has you would see what appears to be a few silver and the rest of his copper this is what people would normally pay with an arena fight However, not you, as he takes the silver away as well as a few copper. This is what you what you normally pay as a champion. I wanted to make it crystal clear that someone such as strong as, you, as yourself deserves good treatment. And let me put it like this, this to you, Jurgen. Out of character, how many silver are in his hand at the moment? In this hand, uh, there is none. And there is just, and there is just about uh, 30, 35 copper in it. Let me put it to you like this, Jurgen. He's going to push away all but three of the copper on your palm. The last, the f earlier, some f fights ago, the Imperial doctors couldn't treat me well. Then they charged me that much in silver. He points at the three. Can 
Yeah, that's that's something that I'm not in control of, unfortunately, then, with me. <laughs> and then you come forward saying you're charging less. And I find out it's still a lot more than just buy getting a bandage from the tailor for free. You got a bandage from who? For free? The Weaver doesn't charge for their bandages. So why are you charging Fiddy? For them to be put on. The original sale value, as he puts the rest of the coin in his pocket, the original sale value dredge for the bandages overall especially coming from the infirmary is 20 copper using a bandage for medical use such as me trying to bandage someone like yourself would be 30 normally if no if they're not a warrior if they're a common folk however and yes that might seem out of place however the reason why i have that is the gladiators here including yourself are sponsored and usually, some of the... And usually, most of the time, if not all the time, the sponsors help pay for the gladiators to help them get treated. One time I had, uh, well... One time I had a nobleman come in with three others, and I actually brought the price a little, little bit down because my, my pricing was all over the place at the time. And unfortunately, one of them, I don't know if it took him too long to bring him back, but one of the gladiators died and want me to put in priority. Which is 42 silver. <laughs> Something that I couldn't really have. Placing all priority on him, and if that were the case, then I wouldn't be treating anyone with such. Wait, 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 wait. So you're just... Your debt? Isn't my concern. I understand that. It's just a story. However, what I could do actually for this, considering on how much that it was the first time, I've actually been rethinking on the discount. And as for this, I would say, and I'll talk with the others about this to make sure that they're in, a, they're in agreement with beca because this is again the champion's discount and I'd want you to be happy with my work as well as the payments. What I'm willing to do for you is not have to be like 50 cop all, all the way. However, what I could do is that any treatment that I have, especially with the pricing and such, like for example, the bandage for common folk would be 30, I would do the same for you. As well with sterile stitching or anything else or otherwise. Again, I would have to talk with them first. How many with tens is surgeons. 30? Uh, three. Three tens is 30. Three. Hmm. Better. That's better. And as for the other That's stuff, fucking like adorable. <laughs> and all the other equipment, and the reason why I have them so pricey is because surgical gauze is, is rare. That usually costs three silver, along with some other things with silver 20 and like two silver and all that other stuff. For this one, um, considering with the arena fights, even if I do use one such as that, the only max uh, copper for you to spend would only be 50 then. Which I would be five to that. Again, a champion such as yourself? To be quite honest with <laughs> someone like me, I really wouldn't mind that at all. I like this deal a lot better. Again, I would have to talk with the rest of the surgeons about it. If nothing changes with the discount, then I will let you know on that and saying that it wasn't my decision to make anyways, but if they agree with it, you could see yourself with a, with a little bit lesser copper to spend for any of the treatment that comes from the arena. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Do note, though, if you want to treat the gladiators again soon, you're going to have to get up behind the fence. Those Imperials have started waiting on s uh, waiting for the fights to end up there. 
All right. So if you want to make any coin off the fights, you're going to have to be up there with them. I'll talk with the rest of the surgeons from there then and see what I can do in order mm. to help in this current engagement. Unless if they then just so just send them to the infirmary anyways, including you. That way, with the other gladiators mm. paying way, paying uh, more, considering of their patrons, gives me more time and more coin within my, within my uh, stock to be able to heal you and the rest of your wounds for much discounted price. You keeping your title and for them to have a little bit of a, uh, well, inspiration from that discount, quote-unquote, for them to fight you a lot better. Hmm. I'll tell Noldus about the new deal. Might make her more, uh, willing to send me down to the clinic as well. Mm, like, like I said, I will still need to talk with the surgeons about it. And if it doesn't change, I will let you know. Why? And it, and it, it's your price. I do understand. However, it would still need to be approved within the infirmary, and I will do whatever I can necessary in order to make that work. Unless if something happens, I will let you and the Arena Master know. Hmm. Grazie. All right. I will leave you to it then. I guess I took too long on that. Hmm. I do apologize for the yes. inconvenience of the uh, conundrum that you were having with that. I'm hoping that this understands mm. the pricing. You have a good one, then. Good to see you, Soma. Mm. And to you as well. What the... Hi. Uh, I saw... Um, I, uh... Wait, who's the bathroom, Rowan? That was a good job. Who's the bathroom? He's in yes. the town, last I saw. He's in Nodis. Who's been showing me yeah. how to, uh... What's he, the word? I saw him run from near his stand, uh, his shop. Haggle? So yeah. Haggle, negotiate. Prices. Yeah. No, it was good. She'd be proud. Mm. All I had to do was... All I had to do was pick him up by his collar and tell him uh, I would spill his blood in the clinic. I feel like you probably could have skipped that step and still gotten a pretty good result. But everyone has their way, I suppose. Mm. Mm. I still have a reputa reputa mm. People gotta see me a certain way. Mm hmm Of course. Especially if you want to get your name out there. Exactly. He listened. Oh, also, spoke with. Hmm? I was going to offer, since you uh, can't, you know, hang out with Torty, if you wanted me to pass on a message or something like that, I can do that for you. Hmm. Don't see. Hmm. Hmm. I don't have a message right now. That's okay. Just let me let me know how the arm gets better, though. Okay, yeah, I can keep you updated. Hmm. But uh, I spoke with Nolus uh yesterday about that spar. Oh yeah. With you and Tazim and I. Hmm. Told Tazim I. I told Nozos it was going to be a 2v1, but Tazim wants it to be 1v1s. Sure. Where you both go one after the other, so... Nozos said they would be dealing with all of that stuff today. Yeah, sure. It'd be interesting oh to go up against God. you, as long as you don't, you know, break me in half. I know how not to kill people. I know, I'm teasing. Like I said before. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Seemed like Smithy was a... 
rather off-put by the request I put forward. <clears throat> Heard him muttering to himself as he walked off. Mm -hmm. Didn't seem too happy the favor was called in. <sighs> right. What was the request again? You will have to remind me, I'm a little frazzled right now. You remember that axe I wanted? Uh-huh. Noza said I shouldn't accept it if it didn't have the glowing pot. Uh, ah, right. The room. Yeah, that's difficult. So then they called in the favor. Hmm. What's so bad about getting the, uh, the glow? The dwarf has it. Uh, the dwarf and his kin are... To get that, it takes a very certain type of craftsman. A very certain skill that aren't really around much anymore. It's very, very rare. But unfortunately, as it stands right now, we don't really have the ability to do that, but I think Tazim is looking into it, trying to figure something out for you. He doesn't like breaking promises. Hmm. Hmm. I spoke with, uh, Morden. Hmm. Asked if he knew any more about how they worked. He told me, uh, he might see if he can figure out if one makes the axe hit harder. I didn't know different rune did different thing. Hmm. It's definitely but, outside of my wheelhouse, but... Uh, it's not like we gave you a, a, a dead time. Yeah, I suppose. Plus, we'd still need more iron anyway, so... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I gave you enough to fill half a barrel. Not yet. We're getting there, though. It is definitely helping. Also, what was with that? You all work in the smithy with the weapons. Nozos didn't know anything about it, but there was a really ugly weapon I gave you. Uh huh. It was on a stick. What the fuck is it? Yeah, on the stick with all the weird points and whatever. <laughs> Looks really fucking ugly. It's uh, it's called a bill hook. It can be used as uh, a spear or a glaive, maybe. Um, good for hooking underneath people's legs and tripping them. Uh, Anti-cavalry, if necessary. It's a well-rounded weapon. It What's is... a cavalry? Um, someone who rides a horse in battle. Hmm? Oh, the people who get the ropes and drag me back, yeah. That's fucking sad, but yes, more or less. Hmm. I don't see how that tiny little thing would stop a horse. No? Nah. It's too small. Ah, uh, but if you brace the bottom of it into the ground and point it up into where the horse is coming from. You have the ground support, you don't have to hold it. It might snap, but you definitely do some damage to the horse. And imagine a lot of people yeah, having those. Stop the horse, though. Mm. Alright, then here's the thing, though. What idiot thought they were going to be fighting horses in the arena? I... If they brought a <laughs> weapon to fight horses. I, look, maybe they were picking the bottom of the barrel. Maybe they didn't have a choice. I, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Must have... Maybe it was punishment from the <laughs> <owner>. Punishment, yeah. <laughs> well, that worked out for them, didn't it? The, wasn't even the one I fought. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I don't think a billhook would have done much against you, I'll be honest. Uh, there was this one guy with a spear, uh, a, a Kalan. Mm -hmm. He's the guy I whose spine I ripped out. Yep, I'm familiar. 
He tried to use a spear on me. He went clean through the fucking legging, stopped right in my skin. Oof. That's lucky. Lucky? No. There's no luck in my fight. No? Let me, uh... He's going to take the gauntlet, and as he runs it across his skin... Oh. You see it splits open lightly, but doesn't bleed. There's an entire layer of callus there, and scar tissue. Oh, wow. That's impressive. The guards hate it when they have to lash me. <laughs> uh, so how, how does someone get that? Is there any tricks you could... You know, what's the secret? <laughs> how often do you want to be lashed? <laughs> Not often at all. Then I don't think you're going to get that unless you have someone beat you over and over again. Mm. As tempting as that sounds, I'm going to have to pass. Who knows, maybe we spot enough. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you'll get a stick skin. Oh no. <laughs> Getting thrown over off the front of a ship helps speed it up too. Ever suffered an injury that just kind of follows you? Can't seem to shake it? Mm, no. Can't say that I have. Hmm. Like one of those ones that make you a cripple? No. Hmm. <clears throat> well, that is fortunate. I haven't found anyone who can actually, you know, fight well enough to do that. You fought many other Bjornings? I'm gonna be honest, until a few days ago, I thought it was a slur. Oh, no, no, no. It's a very proud thing. That's what Sif says. But I've only heard it used to, uh, the dwarf people. And they don't sound very happy when they say it. Uh, Dawe and Bjordings have a bit of a beef between them, I guess. Uh, Sif said something about stealing language, but it's language. I don't know how you steal it. Yeah. You can't hold it. It doesn't make sense to me. It's, so I yeah. try not to think about it. I'm much the same. It's outside of my area. Uh, but, uh, no, I never thought nobody as big as me. Apparently that's the only thing that makes you a Bjorning. That turning into a bear or whatever the fuck she says. I don't even believe that. Hmm. Have you ever been on the brink of death? Plenty of times. Mm. Never turned into a bear, and no one has ever said I've turned into a bear. I suppose that's 